Got a couple of absolute classics in the workshop today. We've got a 6930 Premium. Power quad gearbox with a bit of an unusual fault. We've got no four wheel drive. When you put it in four wheel drive, nothing happens. If you jack both front wheels up, you can turn the wheels together forwards and the prop shaft just spins. We're on these tractors. When you've not got the engine running, the four wheel drive pack should be clamped up solid with a big Belleville spring and that locks the four wheel drive pack up. We're on this. Something has caused the pack to slip even when the track is off. So first job here is drain all the oil out of that drop box. Take the four wheel drive shaft off. We've got a deadline with this tractor. It's got to be done sharpish. And that's why there's two of us on this job. So we've took the four wheel drive shaft off and that's why the film is not the best as well. Took the four wheel drive shaft off. We've undone a couple of pipes to the transmission that have got filters in them and we've seen there's bits in the filters. So we've took the pipes off, got them out of the way. We've got the jack under that drop box. We're undoing the ring of bolts that holds the four wheel drive box onto the tractor. We've got the jack taking the weight of it. We've got a tube on the end just in case it wants to rock fall back or fall forwards we can just put a tube on the end and uh just just steady it funding all the bolts and we're just dropping it down steady because we don't know quite how it's going to balance but we've got it on the jack here now so need to drop it down a bit more to clear the tractor and then we'll drag it out and we'll see what the damage is and see if my diagnosis is right. Quite a big heavy lump that, so it's a good job we've got the trolley jack on hand. Right, it's an absolute mess. It's absolutely knackered. Belleville washer is out of the pack. There's a load of metal in the bottom of it. There's a Big piece of a circlip that's missing. You can see how it's all loose. You can see the piston. It's, it's gone into self-destruct this. You can see how all the outside of that basket is broken and all chipped away. Then black bits on full on the top and three bands. Yeah. There's the handbrake. The shaft. It's actually sort of welded itself into the pack, so I've welded enough to on the shaft. Right, I was holding it down. Put my slide hammer on it and pull the shaft out. There is the bearing housing at the back. There's all the bits. There's the bearing spring. All that housing is knackered. All the basket is knackered. East. You can't get a complete unit. So we've had to order all the bits individually. It's cost an absolute fortune. And we've got to get it done. Unfortunately, the casting is broken because where I showed you that bearing before. Right, so what I think's happened is this circle up here should sit in there. That Belleville washer behind it, all that gets flipped over into there, but that circlip's come off, it's burst the pack open. So all that's knackered. All these plates are knackered because they've been running off centre. That piston's knackered. There's no marks on that, but I've got a new one for that anyway. And then the shaft is knackered because it's the bearing's been spinning on it. This housing's knackered because the bearing has gone knackered. And then inside the housing, the bearing's collapsed. And then the shaft has dropped down and then the oil galleries in there, they've all worn away. So we've had to get a new one of them. New one, it's basically a complete assembly, but you can't buy it as a complete assembly. You have to buy all the pieces individually. So we've ordered the bits, the bits have come and now it's time to start rebuilding it. We've torqued them bolts up, we've put the old gear onto the new pack. We've got a new swirl ring, we've got new bushes inside it, we've got a new basket. 
got new shim washers and thrust washers that's a plastic and a steel we've got a new basket because that was all minced up inside that basket there takes the clutch plates on the outside and that locks the clutch plates to the inside and to the outside of the basket so when you turn four wheel drive on the spring oil pressure drops the spring engages it clamps all the discs up and that's what gives you four wheel drive got a new piston new o-ring there's all bits behind that so we, we put that in there then just tap it down gently plenty of vaseline on the o-ring there's a new Belleville uh, spring there's a, a ring that then goes on and then you put that under the press press the spring down and then you put that great big circlip on the clutch pack and that's what holds it all together and I think it's that circlip that's gone bang first there's a uh, so all handbrake bands are fine pull that on there's a thrust washer and a shim on there new shaft new bearing new oil seal and then iron ring seals that were inside that housing put it all together we've shit we've set the preload up on the bearings of the box built it all back up new tin shield and we're ready for refitting it now so i got We've checked all the inside. All the castings of this tractor are immaculate inside. If you use dirty oil in these tractors, it all sticks to the outside of the castings, where this is really, really clean, so it's been well looked after this tractor. What I did think was a bit odd, though, is that we've put new transmission oil and filters in it, and the transmission filters were from the month before. They had the month before's date on it, so I think this problem must have happened fairly, fairly soon after they've changed the filters. And obviously it will last long when it spat that circlip off. So I think we've caught it in time. As you can see now, you can't turn the wheels because four-wheel drive is engaged with the engine off. And then if we jump in, start the engine, turn four-wheel drive off, you'll be able to spin the wheels. So we're all back together now, filled it up, new oil and filters, and we're ready for a good road test. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.